So I get treated to the VA. The VA takes care of me, which helps me save, save a lot of money because living with HIV and get treatment and get tested, all that stuff, it can be expensive. As a girl who, you know, had to pay out of pocket um, in the beginning, it, it was it was a mess. Did he just say as a girl yeah. being treated? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what he said. Uh... So the nurse is asking me these questions and she's just like, hey, you know, what's going on? I said, hey, I've been having a sore throat for about a week and my allergies have been really, really bothering. I've been doing some research. So I was like, I think that's what it is. I've been testing myself for COVID, didn't have COVID. I didn't have a fever. I'm telling her the things. And then she says, well, have you been having unprotected sex? And I'm thinking to myself, like, what if she means unprotected sex? I'm like, I, I get so shook by the language because it's so outdated. It's so outdated. What the f is unprotected sex? Let me tell you something. Let, let me zoom the camera right on in. This is probably not gonna be zooming. If I'm sucking nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm, there's no condom on it. Uh, if I'm eating, whoa, nine times out of ten, there's no um, Delta Dam on it. <laughs> if I'm getting my suck, it ain't gonna have no condom on it. Wow. If I'm topping, there ain't gonna probably be no condom. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm bottoming, which rarely ever happens, if it does happen, probably not gonna use a condom. I couldn't believe it. He just keeps going on and on and on. Right. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am HIV positive, and I am entitled to condom and sex. Wow. Uh... Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Did he just fix his mouth and say, I am HIV positive mm -hmm. and I am entitled. 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 To have condom free sex. Yes. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Uh, Point blank period. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, now, all of my partners who I am engaging with sex with, they do know that I'm HIV positive. Okay. Um, and, you know, there's risk. Well, duh. We talk about risk, we talk about all these other things, and that is risk assessment for us. That's like us making, you know, hey girl, you know, this is a person, he's HIV positive, he's undetectable, he gets tested regularly. Like, I'm gonna have sex with him. Point blank period. Like, literally, like, that's what is going on. Like, that's what, that that's the T. See, then, then what happened? You know, you got everybody out here, you know, we just busting off Bruh. all over the place. <laughs> just all over the place. It's everywhere I look now. At least there's a <sighs> consent there. I heard somebody dropped a video a while ago where he was saying, I don't need to tell partners that I have this. Wow. Oh, man. Whoa. I don't know if it was him, if it was another video, if it was a whole nother person. Anytime I talk about disclosure, the stigma jumps out immediately. Um, and People don't understand and don't get it. Um, so the post that I just posted a screenshot of someone, you know, saying that it's my obligation, it is my duty as an HIV positive man to disclose my HIV status. It is not my job to disclose my HIV status to anybody, uh, even sexual partners. What the hell? It is both people job to talk about their sexual health. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you cannot put it on the person who is living with HIV to be the one to say, well, girl, I'm living with HIV, da da da, I'm on my stuff, and then you don't tell me anything. So you cannot put the entire sexual health responsibility on one person. You cannot make me be responsible for your sexual health, and I can't make you be responsible for my sexual health. Okay, if we both come into a consensual relationship and we both don't discuss our sexual health, then that's on us. But you're not going to make me take responsibility because I'm the person that is HIV positive and living with HIV. I have to take responsibilities for everything. And not to mention, you might have some stuff going on. You have not been tested and you don't know because you're not getting tested regularly. You don't know what's going on with your body. Okay, homie, 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 homie. You being HIV positive and you know you're HIV positive and you don't disclose that to the other person. And the other person is HIV positive because of the result of that. Ooh, that's a crime. That's a crime reprimandable by law. Police allege Cleveland Roddy knew his positive status since 2006, but did not disclose it to sexual partners. Investigators named two victims in this case. One even died after having untreated, undiagnosed HIV for so long. As of today, new warrants filed say a third victim has come forward claiming the suspect did the exact same thing to her. Here's what we know. Prosecutors say Cleveland Brody's, quote, reckless conduct caused the death of his wife, Denise, in April 2022. You see, this is why we don't condone cheating in a relationship or in marriage. Feels it's enough. just not worth it. I know the red pill has a big thing about the cheating difference between men and women, how men and women view sex, how they take it in, how they handle it emotionally, psychologically, physically, and all of that other stuff. And some of the things that they're saying are true. 
But at the end of the day, bro, you you taking all types of risks, and if you want to, I mean, cool, but you're going to eat them consequences one way or another. Well, you got that right. Now, of course, we're tellin dealing with people, you know, he's obviously not talking about heterosexual ma male-female relationships. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we always talk about this premarital sex thing. We always talk about it. You know, people just going out here, busting off whenever they feel like it. <laughs> Whoever they feel like it, however they feel like it, you know, and I understand the walls. <laughs> I'm magically delicious. I don't know what he's experiencing. I ain't got nothing to do that. The walls is magically delicious, but what I wanted to put out there is that this is the dangers of premarital sex. Ooh. This is what it is that we have to be concerned about. Damn. Yep. Some of these people, you know, we talk about it ain't nothing. Okay. We're having all of these partners. Hmm. Now he seems like he's exclusively dealing with a certain type of person, right? Gay! Yep. But everybody he's dealing with, because it's not like he's just talking about this one part. He said partners with an S. Yeah, multiple. Plural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was S on the end. You know, some people mm -hmm. that be talking about the DL brothers, down low brothers. He not. I'm just saying. He, he seemed to be very vocal about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody out here just like, oh, you fine. I'm going to just go over there and do what I got to do. I see you. I like you. And I'm going to have you. <laughs> now we can do this the easy way <laughs> or the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the fact that the, the society has gotten to a place where they be like, show me your paperwork. What the hell? Yep, bro. Y'all was risking everything. That's what you call risking it all. Yep. How do you pick who you have raw sex with? It goes with, like, um, the connection. It goes with the connection and the vibe and the cleanliness. No blankets in the tub. Uh, uh, did I miss something? I thought it was, first of all, based off of whether or not they're disease-free and that you can actually use real science and data and test results to see that. And then secondly, is whether or not they're your husband, because aside from the diseases, you probably don't want to get pregnant, right? It's based off of what's in the tub. <laughs> These women, it's crazy. Like, it's an outbreak over in Atlanta and Houston of women that's running around with venereal diseases, and y'all think that this is cool. I don't know. It just, like, I'll just be like, it just depends on the. <laughs> mm -hmm. If it's a I feel like I got a lot of. I'm not you run to my boyfriend. If it's, if it's a that, if I'm drunk one night and I just don't care. Like, it just depends. It's, I don't have no rules to it. If you're my boyfriend, what are we in high school? But after we grow, like, your business is my business and I'm gonna make it my business. What about like the clinic, like, you know, it's, you know, test results? Facts. Well, like, if you're in the moment, like, oh, what now? like you been with him, talking to him for a minute and you wanna fuck him, like, what you gonna be like, let's go to the clinic first? I think there's something wrong with you. Put on the condom right now and then later, let's go to the clinic. Yeah, that's cool too. I mean, I'm just asking the question. No, I'm, and I'm, just giving I'm not you, with the clinics. You're not with the clinics? I mean, not saying that I won't go to the clinic. I'm just saying, I'm not saying the wrong words. What I'm saying is, like a, I, like a girl, she's like, oh, we can't have sex until we go to the clinic. We can't have sex raw. And you're like, I'm not going to go? I'm going to go, but I'd rather not. I understand that. Just show me your test results. I'm good. Why would she trust you? I trust myself. Y'all do know that you can get a disease. Even with using a condom, you can still get infected. Y'all do know that, right? I don't know if y'all was aware of that. I don't know if y'all went to sex ed class. You can get a lot of stuff, transfer a lot of different diseases. You don't necessarily, the condom is not 99% or 100% proof that you won't get anything. It's just a preventative measure. It helps. Now I understand, you know, they talk about HIV has come so far. Magic has been living for 30 years. He got the wonder drug that it wasn't out back then, but apparently it's out now. Everybody can get it. They can manage it and all that other stuff. Y'all rather do that than just find somebody to be married to. You ain't got to worry about that no more. Yep. I don't worry about nothing. Oh boy. Silky goodness. That's all I worry about. <laughs> Skin soft, smelling good, feeling good. Everything feel good. I, I ain't got to worry about nothing. That's, that's great. They talk about paperwork. Well, what I got, she got, what she got, I got. And that's all we got. That's it. It's a real simple way of living life. We gonna risk it all so that we can do that with uh, multiple people. Y'all just greedy. <laughs> Y'all just greedy. You just want to eat everything. <laughs> you are Mikey. Give it to Mikey. He'll eat it. Bruh. Really? Like, really, though? <laughs> First off, how are you going to say it's outdated to ask if you're being safe? What? What? I mean, what is unprotected? <laughs> <laughs> this is how far we've really come? Wow. Wow. Bruh. Wow. For that whole monologue, I have no words. I really don't. Bruh. Because I'm like, if you that stupid, <laughs> then you get what you get. No! 
and that. Yep. You gotta live with the consequences. Mm -hmm. It is way too much information out here for you to not know that, yeah, you can live with it, but do you really want to? Nope. You really want to put yourself in a position where you can potentially get something that is life altering, life changing, and where you would have to be on medication for the rest of your life? No! Why? Why are we doing that? The walls are magically delicious. It's really not that deep, y'all. But if you made it this far, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make a commitment to us. Don't be, you know, having us out here in these streets mm. like we just, you know, we mm. casually date and make a commitment. Mm. All right. Hit the subscribe button. Yep. <laughs> Everybody be like, we were meant. The manosphere does it. And now I'm starting to hear women saying it, that men were not meant to be monogamous. Oh, women boy. were not meant to be monogamous. Uh. If that is the case, we wouldn't have STDs. Nope. We were just meant to be busted all over the place. Ah. And everybody talks about biology because men have this high testosterone, high sex drive thing. I'm a victim of it too, God. Look, I understand. Yep. And let's just be honest. Most of us, we either have multiple women or we use multiple hands. Ah. That's, we just being honest here, Bruh. okay? Oh, Most of us don't just hold it in and work out. My love won't do you no know? There's some guys who work out. Some of us have multiple women and we work out. You okay. know, some of us have higher testosterone and levels. Some of us have lower testosterone and levels. But we act like when we talk about the nature of men and the nature of women, we act like this stuff is new. It ain't it's new. True. It's been here for at least 2,000 years. At least. More than that, technically. But I'm going to say at least 2,000 <laughs> years. It's a nice round number. This ain't new. Having to fight that thing. Having to fight that monster. Coming up on your back like this. Ah! <laughs> we know but you don't really have a lot of a choice i'm gonna be honest with you brother because if you go out here in these streets you're gonna kill your ability to pair bond which is gonna affect your marriage mm -hmm. and maybe you don't care because a lot of you know a lot of guys don't care about how what they wife feel and being able to connect with them as long as the wife do what she's supposed to do they're gonna do what they're supposed to do because it's an exchange of stuff it's just they got nothing to do with love we need to be honest about what these streets is doing to us yep. listen when the streets call you don't pick up ah! okay i'm just saying if that's what's going on just let it go to voicemail Bruh. because that's crazy.